Hi everyone, welcome to my uh, coaster brake front wheel project. I'm going to take this rear wheel that originally came on this bike because I put a two speed Bendix on it. But I'm going to put this on the front and I'm going to hook it up where it actually uses the brake with the hand lever. Uh, I've never seen it done before. Uh, I don't even know for sure if it'll work, but we're going to find out together. Well, first thing, wheel goes on like this, and you gotta put with the sprocket on the same side, so both sprockets are on the same side, so it turns the right direction. And it actually has to be played with a little bit here because it's a little, wheel's a little wider than the original, and the axle's a little bit bigger, but it does fit, it's a little persuading. I even got the little locks on here to keep it from falling off with your poom wheelies. Put that on. Put that on. This has to be going to be around like that. There we go. Sure, it's all the way down. Now, in your case, you might have to take a file to it, widen it up a little bit to make it fit. But it fits just barely, but it does fit. Okay, so far so good. Okay, next we gotta anchor this down. We gotta look around the play with. This fork tube is a lot wider and di bigger in diameter. It's a lot wider than uh, what's on the rear there. So you got to kind of ad lib here, make things, you know, whatever you got laying around that'll work. That's pretty much what you got to do. Pretty simple stuff here. I mean, anybody that's ever worked on a bicycle understands what's going on here. Okay, that's done. Get some flipper over. Lever on. Mm 
Yeah, this lever here, this came off of old 60s, uh, maybe 70s, three-speed racer. You know, it's nice and chrome. And get the screws. Come on. Awkward little thing. My hands don't work like they used to. I got it now. Okay. Over. Okay, so now let's flip this around so you can watch. We got the cable, we got the sprocket right here. It's just like that. Now, I have this piece of chain. And what I got here is a little piece that, uh, I think it came off old garage door opener. And it's like a little adapter that adapts from a chain to cable. Now you can use whatever means you want to uh, hook the cable to the chain, but I found this thing and it's perfect. So well, that's what I'm going with. through here. That's cooling off. This little device. Go on like this. Yeah. 
this is just a piece off of old uh, caliper from a from that same bike I got the hand lever from. And this was the, this was the pads that the little brake pad mounted to, and I just cut it off, and it's a nice little loop I can hook the spring to. And that will go just like that. Just like that. It's a little bit long, but we'll trim it when I get done. Any things that fit. Okay, this is also a piece cut off of that brake caliper. This is where the cable's going to anchor to. squeeze
nice tight fit. This piece here for the cable, a little familiar piece, just, uh, you know, just like, whoops, just, uh, you know, another piece off a handbrake lever, it's a little adjustment part. to wash it. Thank you. 
like that. All right. Got the cable. It goes through here. Just like that. Yeah. So it ain't clear. It's all right. It's cool. It's cool though. Now see this is straight over socket like so. And just like that. So first get this through here. Put a crimp in there. like that. Now we got the return spring. It hooks right into here. Hooks into that. Now you loosen these up.
that's anchored. I think it's a little bit tight. Now here's the easy way to adjust it. Bring it up on this bracket. One, two. And it's adjusted. Travel. There we go. Just it here. Stronger spring. I have to make some adjustments here. I think I have to put a smaller sprocket on there. So we'll get back in a few. 
Okay, so I put a smaller sprocket on here. And now it works. So let's take it for a test ride. Set you up right here. Just like that. It just needs a little fine tuning, but it will work. Oh. You can see the mechanism there. You know, anchor down the cable. Got a few things to do to it, but it, it will work. Okay, so it's not quite working yet. Uh, the concept's good. I just got to come up with a way of getting more travel out of the brake lever. It, uh, it just doesn't pull it enough. So what I'm going to end up doing is uh, putting some kind of a bell crank deal on there to multiply the pull. So for whatever say an inch of cable pull it pulls the chain two inches and I think that'll do it I might go two and a half inches just for safety but uh, you know then it's, then it's just a matter of do I have enough leverage which I think it does because it don't seem to take a whole lot of effort to stop it it's just a matter of the amount of uh, travel I got to get out of it so as you can see it actually looks pretty cool I like the way it looks. It, it, it's got a real uh, almost steampunk punk, uh, look to it. But uh, it, it, I mean, it's working somewhat. It just needs more travel. That's the only thing. So that's what I'll be working on next. And, you know, just kind of a different way of having both front and rear brakes on an old cruiser bike. So, that's it for now. I'll give you an update as soon as I get this figured out. You know, this, this is something I've never seen done before. And I've never done before. It's just one of my little brainstorms. And, and there it is. <laughs> just need some refinements. Alright, see you later. Bye.